Aren't you a little old for this, Tommy? I may be old, but I can still pull it off. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 best Power Rangers episodes. They look just like they can't be. Ah, but we are Rangers, and we're here for one reason, and one reason only, to destroy. For this list, we'll be looking at the greatest stories ever told throughout the franchise. We'll count multiple episodes as a single plot if they follow the same story. If you aren't caught up on the Rangers' latest adventures, this is your official spoiler warning. Do you have a favorite Power Ranger episode? Let us know in the comments. Alright guys, let's do it! Number 20, Chase into Space, Power Rangers Turbo. Like this. While the series was shifting out of Turbo, it gave fans a high stakes finale that didn't lose any speed. Zordon was in serious trouble, and the Rangers had just lost two Megazords in a fierce battle. And just when things couldn't get any worse, the villainous Divatox did the unthinkable and attacked the Power Chamber base. Instead of a triumphant finale, the exhausted heroes try in vain to defend their home while being completely overwhelmed by enemy forces. <laughs> Their bad day ends with their base being blown up and the team losing their powers. Seeing the Rangers lose so badly was necessary to prove the series wasn't playing it safe anymore. This dark finale had fans eager to see how the Rangers would bounce back. Good luck, Rangers. Number 19, King for a Day, Power Rangers Zeo. I'm sorry to say that you were recently attacked by the dreaded Power Rangers. Your memory was damaged in the melee. From classmates to enemies to teammates to enemies again, Jason and Tommy have run the morphing grid of character dynamics. But they were firmly on opposite sides for the thrilling King for a Day two-parter. What are Power Rangers? They are the supreme evil in all of the universe, Your Majesty. And I fought with them? You fought them for years, sire! After Red Ranger Tommy is brainwashed, again, Gold Ranger Jason is pitted against his teammate. The conflict pays homage to their classic brawl back in Mighty Morphin while highlighting how far they've come since then. The added runtime of a two-parter helps build the hype and impact of this rematch. Even comic relief characters like Bulk and Skull see action too. In the end, the power of friendship brings Tommy back just in time for him to defeat the baddies with his team. I don't wanna fight you, bro! Number 18, The Cobra Strikes, Power Rangers Lightspeed Rescue. Sorry, Ryan. Never seen anything like it. You should be fine, as long as you don't morph. When Titanium Ranger Ryan rejected evil, he received a cursed cobra tattoo that would get closer to claiming his life every time he morphed. Avoiding his powers was easier said than done when a new villain gave the Lightspeed crew a run for their spandex. Eventually, Ryan decides to take a chance and try to break the curse to save his life and his friends. This episode set the gold, or rather titanium standard, of how to balance interesting character conflicts with colorful action. Seeing Ryan free himself of the Cobra while unmorphed before returning to help the Rangers at a crucial moment was epic. And as the cherry on top, the Titanium Rangers' successes led to the creation of a shiny new Megazord. Number 17, A Golden Homecoming, Power Rangers Zeo. Guys, I'm okay. The new Gold Ranger's right here.
The final episode of this Golden Zeo story arc marks the return of an iconic character in a shiny new suit. The series spent several episodes developing the original Gold Ranger Trey as a noble warrior. However, he had no choice but to transfer his powers over to keep his soul completely intact. Although it was unclear who could fill Trey's shoes, fans were extremely happy when the new candidate was revealed to be original Red Ranger Jason. Yeah, I can feel it! The veteran hero's satisfying return was followed by a much needed upgrade for the rest of the team. Between bringing back a beloved character and giving a great send-off to the awesome Trey, this episode deserves a gold medal. It's really good to have you with us again, buddy. It's good to be back, man. Just like old times. <laughs> Number 16, Thunder Strangers, Power Rangers, Ninja Storm. Hello? Anybody home? Obviously, you didn't get the memo. Old Rangers out, new Rangers in. What? You expect us to fight you? Right when working as the Ninja Storm Rangers was becoming a breeze for the team, two new enemies showed up and brought the thunder. The evil duo of Hunter and Blake were a captivating pair of villains. And not just because their suits were really cool. Thanks to their electrifying powers, fans were treated to great elemental battles between the opposing rangers. And their presence gives Tori the awesome opportunity to pilot the zords on her own. Okay, Cam, a little help here? I'll send you a power disk that will allow you to control the Megazord by yourself. All right. After wrecking the good team, we found out they had turned evil because they believed the good sensei had slayed their parents. Once this lie was exposed, we had a good feeling the Thunder Rangers would bring their powers to Ninja Storm long after this great storyline. Lothar told us everything. Your sensei destroyed our parents. Lothar saw the whole thing. And you believed him? Why shouldn't we? Number 15, Back in Black, Power Rangers, Dino Thunder. Ranger or not, you're mine now. Oh, I hate when he gets like this. No matter whether Tommy was wearing green, white, red, or something else, fans loved to see him suit up. So while it was great to see him mentoring a new team, viewers were secretly hoping he'd join the fight. Fortunately, Tommy gets his chance after being captured by villains. They tried to force the former hero to unlock the Black Dino Gem. Meanwhile, the new team learns their mentor was a legendary ranger before going to save him. Their tense rescue operation ends with Tommy using a dino gem to acquire a new black suit. Watching this iconic ranger don the spandex for an entirely new season was tremendous. Although Tommy might not be as young as he used to be, he's still just as cool. Give me a break, it's been a while. Number 14, Rangers Gone Psycho, Power Rangers in Space. We're the Psycho Rangers. We're faster than you, smarter than you, stronger than you, but we're evil. There are few villains in the entire franchise that are as intimidating as this evil team. The Psycho Rangers initially looked like cheap ranger knockoffs before they transformed into terrifying true forms. When they fought as their true selves, they were genuine and powerful threats that came frighteningly close to ending our heroes. If Astronema hadn't intervened, they may have completely destroyed the rangers. How many other villains can say that? While this wouldn't be the Psycho's last appearance, it's hard to top the shock factor of their sinister debut. Even with a relatively small amount of screen time over the course of the season, they made a huge impact on the series as some of the most formidable foes. You'll finish them when I decide. Oh yeah? And when will that be? <laughs> Remember your place, Psychos. I'll tell you as much as I decide to tell you. Number 13, now the final fury, Power Rangers Jungle Fury. I know we can turn things around if we try. 
I told you, it's too late for me. This effective finale delivers up everything that made Jungle Fury a worthy trek through the wild. It's got positivity, action, and a lot of personal growth. While the well-choreographed and high-stakes fights against old enemies are awesome, the characters are what make the conclusion so rewarding. For example, Jared, who was responsible for bringing the main villain out into the world in the first place, returns to redeem himself during the epic final battle. You told me I had the strength of the lion, but not the heart. But I'm here to show you you're wrong. The heart of a lion is noble and good. I can be too. His character arc perfectly represents the season's running theme that optimism can overcome any inner struggle. Jared's redemption and the thrilling action helped this episode rise to the top of the food chain of Ranger finales. <laughs> Number 12, Source Code, Power Rangers Beast Morphers. Bro? I... It I is true. I've waited years for you to energize the Morphex powers so I could harness the Morphin Grid. As a season-long narrative stampeded towards its finish, Beast Morphers dropped the Zord-sized bomb that Big Bad Evox was actually Vengex, the primary antagonist from Power Rangers RPM. This reveal cleverly wrapped up the cliffhanger of what happened to a villain over a decade later while raising the stakes. Since Fenjix nearly destroyed all of humanity the last time he was seen, the Rangers knew they had to stop him from turning the world into a wasteland. Unfortunately, the Ranger who unintentionally released him feels too guilty to take action. I released Fenjix into our world. Everything bad that's happened to us is my fault. But a deep pep talk from an RPM hero arrives in the nick of time to get him back on track. Thanks to one stellar twist, this episode stands out as an emotional and entertaining crossover. Come on! It worked! <laughs> you did it, Nate! <laughs> Number 11, White Light. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Amazing. Starting now. They're making a new ranger? With Zed's nefarious plots growing more evil by the day, Alpha and Zordon took it upon themselves to give the rangers something of a new guiding light. Together, they enact a secretive plan to bring a new ally into the fold. Their mystery paved the way for one of the most iconic reveals in Ranger history. After Tommy was forced to leave the team when his Green Ranger powers faded, he returned in all white. Guess who's back? <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> the more phenomenal directing and cinematography made this Ranger debut iconic. Shortly after being named team leader, Tommy treats the viewers to an epic fight with his new Tiger Zord. This episode definitively proved that Tommy looks good in any color. Oh, much better. Let's send this lightning rod packing. Number 10, Lost and Found in Translation, Power Rangers Dino Thunder. No way. Connor, you gotta see this. What? Whoa, it's us! Not exactly. The very self-aware Dino Thunder season gave us one of the most original and funny episodes of the entire franchise. Longtime fans know that the Power Rangers series often borrows costumes, storylines, and even raw footage from the Japanese Super Sentai franchise. According to the Satellite Guide, it's a Japanese show about the world-famous Power Rangers. Although the English show usually tries to hide this fact, the Dino Thunder Lost and Found in Translation story saw Rangers react to a dubbed Super Sentai episode they think is an imitation. While it's filled to the brim with meta jokes and hilarious winks at those in the know, it's also entirely enjoyable on its own as a refreshing homage to Power Rangers roots. See? We're not so different after all, just a slightly different interpretation. And weren't you glad you stayed? Yeah, I guess I am. Number 9, The Green Candle, 
Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. What candle? The green candle! <laughs> Before he'd started his trek against the rainbow of ranger suits, Tommy was supposed to end his series time with this episode. He is devastated to discover a magic candle is slowly draining his powers. The heroes quickly try to get the item from the bad guys before it burns out. Unfortunately, Red Ranger Jason is forced to choose between saving his friend Tommy's life or retrieving the candle. Ultimately, he makes the hard choice and lets the flame go out to save his friend. The episode works so well because it's rooted in characters making choices with real and devastating consequences. Although Tommy would later return, seeing him lose his powers still made for a weighty episode. Are you okay? It was great being a ranger, Zordon. You'll always be with me. Number 8, The Road to Corinth and Fade to Black, Power Rangers RPM. If you can hear my voice, please go now to the dome city of Corinth. It's the only place we can be safe. But you have to make it inside the city walls before the defense shield is activated. Please, hurry. The most impressive thing about this bold pair of opening episodes is that they don't feel like any Power Rangers product we'd seen before or since. While the rangers are usually asked to save one community, the heroes are the last line of defense for the Earth this time. These grim episodes let us know the virtual virus Vengex had nearly wiped out most of humanity. Although the landscape is desolate and things look dark, the multicolored rangers still have hope they can win. Legitimately hilarious characters like Ziggy and clever writing help balance out the heavy tone of the story. But all the serious and intriguing plot points help establish RPM will be one of the most daring and unique seasons of the series. Impressive enough for you? Number 7 Reflection, Power Rangers SPD. It was his last battle. I never saw him again. Blue Ranger Sky is undeniably the center of this emotional two-parter. This story has him confront the monster that killed his Red Ranger father. For Sky, locking this monster up isn't just part of his Ranger duties, it's personal. The episode's unflinching portrayal of grief and lineage perfectly explained why the SPD Blue Ranger had been so dead set on wearing red up to this point. Fortunately, Sky is given the chance to morph into a Red Ranger in a dramatic and moving scene. This one's for you, Dad. SPD, emergency! Seeing him arrest the monster while wearing red is a fist-pumping way to conclude the story and advance his character arc. Even though Sky goes back to blue right after the arrest, we know his dad would be proud. I will escape again! Power down! Yeah! Ah, uh, yeah! Number six, to the 10th power and the power of pink, Power Rangers Lost Galaxy. By doubling the rangers and runtime, this crossover becomes twice as fun as most episodes. After the sinister Psycho Rangers return, the In Space and Lost Galaxy crews team up to bring the villains down. The amazing group morphing sequence and tense fights would be enough to make this an incredible story. However, this two-parter became legendary when a plot by Psycho Pink threatened the lives of innocent people and the heroic Cassie. Pink Ranger Kendrick steps up and sacrifices her own life to stop the villain. While crossovers are usually just fun diversions, 
These episodes let fans know that these stories could have far-reaching consequences. Thankfully, this epic two-part tale wasn't the end of Kendrix's story. Kendrick sacrificed her powers to destroy the Savage Sword so that you could get yours back. She would want you to carry on. You know that. Number 5. The End of Time. Power Rangers Time Force. Power down! Power down! The superb three-part conclusion to one of the series' strongest seasons is breathlessly exhilarating from beginning to end. After Red Ranger West sends his futuristic team back to their rightful place in time, they return just in time for the final battle. I thought we agreed to stick together. Yeah, but... Wes, you're not the only one who can choose your own destiny. We all can. While the action is tremendous, the real high points of this story are the emotional beats. Main villain Rancic isn't simply defeated by battle. Instead, his daughter shows him the error of his hateful ways, bringing the season's themes of destiny and redemption full circle. This touching beat is followed by a heartbreaking farewell between time-crossed lovers Wes and Jen. A combination of emotional storytelling and gripping action ensured the story would be a fantastic end to an already excellent season. I should have told you this a long time ago. I love you. I love you too. I wish I could live another thousand years so we could be together again. <laughs> Number 4. Green with Evil Mighty Morphin Power Rangers To the fall of Zordon and the destruction of the Power Rangers! Tommy Oliver's iconic legacy started with his famous sinister debut. Although fans were used to a Villain of the Week structure, the evil Green Ranger shook things up. During this ambitious story arc, the Rangers fought a mysterious new foe, had their Zords compromised, and were cut off from Zordon. But the heroes stayed hopeful they could save themselves and the brainwashed Tommy's soul. Let's end this. I don't want to fight you. Because you know I'll win. No! Because if you're truly a Ranger, then you'd be on Zordon's side and not Rita's. Spread across five well-paced chapters, the story had time to develop its conflicts and characters so that audiences felt the weight of every decision. These noteworthy episodes raise the bar for Power Rangers storytelling, and every fan remembers where they were when Tommy joined his first Ranger team. It's Morphin Time! Dragon Sword! Mastodon! Pterodactyl! Triceratops! Saber Two Tiger! Tyrannosaurus! Yeah! yeah! Number 3, Dr. K, Power Rangers RPM. Tell me, what's it like? What's what like? Being stupid your whole life. Is it as wonderful as it seems? Serving as the blunt and smart Power Rangers RPM mentor, Dr. K was easily one of the most engaging non-suited characters in the series from her first introduction. But she became more unforgettable when we learned about her tragic and poignant backstory. In the Dr. K episode, we learned she was a prodigy raised in a government compound that wasn't allowed to leave. Desperate for freedom, she created the Vengex virus to escape the compound. But when Dr. K's plan is interrupted, it spreads to the world and nearly ends humanity. No! You have to let me install the firewall to stop it! No! Our vengeance will spread beyond Alphabet Soup! No! I just wanted to go outside! Actress Olivia Tennant expertly conveys K's deep loneliness and dehumanization through this heavy plotline. She brilliantly navigated one of the series' darkest and most affecting episodes. How much of it was your doing. All of it. <laughs> Number two, Forever Red, Power Rangers Wild Force. Jason, you guys weren't gonna do this without me, were you? Nearly every single Red Ranger from the Mighty Morphin era to Wild Force came back for this epic crossover. Even though they sadly left Rocky out, this anniversary crossover brought everything else to the table. 
The straightforward plot of stopping a mechanical big bad allowed time for every Red Ranger to get their moment in the spotlight. Yeah! Alright guys, let's do it! Everyone got at least one great line and a moment to show off their individual and iconic morphing sequences. Seeing all our favorite rangers stand side by side for one glorious, frenzied battle had us cheering non-stop. The episode was pure and nostalgia-fueled fan service at its finest. By the time the credits rolled, we knew few franchises do anniversary specials better than Power Rangers does. I guess it's time to say goodbye again. May the power protect you all. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Countdown to Destruction. Power Rangers in Space. Since it looked like the franchise would end with space, this finale held nothing back. After Big Bad Dark Spectre assembled a huge army, his forces attacked anyone in the galaxy that dared to resist. But even non-powered people like Bulk and Skull refused to let evil win. Their heroic moment comes before beaten but not broken rangers arrive for an unforgettable morphing sequence. Although they fought well, the only way to end the conflict is for the Red Ranger to let Zordon sacrifice himself. It is your duty as a Power Ranger to save the universe. Now is the time. <gasps> this emotional scene appears to put an end to evil across the universe and pave the way for tearful reunions. Countdown to Destruction beautifully worked as a season and series finale by shooting for space and rocketing towards greatness. Wanna dance? Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.